We start by cutting the glass, cutting out any special uh, holes or sections for hardware, and then we have to wash and dry the glass carefully in preparation for the tempering process. Here you can see the glass running through our washing machine and drying machine. After the glass has been properly washed and dried, it's ready to be loaded into the tempering furnace. Our tempering furnace can support uh, even very large glass sizes up to about 6 foot by 10 foot. The glass moves into the tempering furnace and the tempering furnace carefully agitates the glass back and forth as it's heated in order to ensure that there's a uniform heating across the entire surface of the glass. The heat has to be raised to near melting point or close to 700 degrees centigrade. This takes anywhere from about 4 to 10 minutes depending on the thickness of the glass. The process is all computer controlled to ensure even heating. After the heating is complete, the glass is moved out of the tempering furnace and into the blower section. This is actually where the glass gains its strength. The blower blasts high pressure, cool or ambient temperature air from the room against the surface of the glass. Here you can see the glass moving back and forth, again being agitated to ensure even distribution of the cooling. As those external molecules cool down rapidly and the core of the glass on the inside cools down much slower, this actually creates an inner tension. Those inner molecules grab and pull in, uh, creating this tension inside the glass. And that's actually where the glass gets its strength. So after the glass has been sufficiently cooled, the machine moves it out. And then it's ready to be carried out and installed into uh, the product or hardware installed or taken out to the customer's location. Thanks for joining us today.